Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Eugene's back there right here. Here we back, are back on the KX85 2010. Pretty exciting. Uh, got my engine back. It's been back for a while, actually. Uh, sitting up on the shelf. Just hadn't had time to, to get it out here and put it back together. Let's see what we can get done on there. I hope this will be a one part or two part video. Uh, give her a shot. See what we can get done. Start with the start with the engine. Uh, let's see if we can get the engine put on, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna and flood the camera for a second. We're gonna get these bolts out of our in here. Sorry, I'm gonna lose them. Seventeen. Grab another socket here. Try to get the bolts off for the motor mount and on the grabber wrench. All right, got a wrench to hold the other side. Let's see if we can get the bolts out. So that'll be fun. Just take a washer out the other side. Washer out the other side. Right. Shoot. She needs a new washer. She's a little sprung. <laughs> That's supposed to be open. <laughs> That's a fun little washer. Alright. Well, let's see. That's done. That's done. Get the motor off the shelf line polish is what I'm gonna walk in front of the can right here. Alright, we're back. We got our engine down. The fully rebuilt motor from uh from my friend out of the Dutchess County I think it's Dutchess County Motorsports. I've had a, a guy out there, uh, my son knows uh rebuild the motor. So that's all that's all done. We can get her in here. See what else we can get done. I think it goes in. Well, let's first of all, let's not put it in backwards. <laughs> I think you got going from the other side. I think. Oops. The cat's helped me. What about? What's this stuff? Should have been tight, but uh, I guess I got to tighten it up. I was with it by hand just to make sure it was here. Well, that's to track all the hardware. I think everything but the one hose is back in the, in somewhere. It's not like there's a lot to mount this. You got one, two, three, I think more than that is four. I think that's about it. You need a car, a couple wires, chain, not a whole lot. There's a teardown video if you go to look at my videos on YouTube of it anyway. Just put the hardware back in the holes here so I don't have to track it. I can't remember if the motor went in from this side or the other side. I don't know. It's right in from this side. I think it was the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the other side. There isn't much room in this garage. Oh, boy. That's quite handy. 
that hard to get it out. Don't see what I'm hitting. Ugh. Getting the boot for the carburetor, it looks like. All right, all you're going to see is the back side of me from the camera. So we're going to pause and get this motor in there. Jack going from one side to the other. Hang on. All right, we got it dropped in there. There were two issues. One was the, one was the, I forgot to take off the brake rights were off the one side. And then the second issue was uh, the spark plug. <laughs> So the engine was too tall. Uh, well, got both of them off. Uh, sneak in here and I'll put that brake reservoir back on. Now I'm gonna forget. Uh, we got a clutch cable. We got some stuff in the way. Uh, I'm not even sure why the clutch cable is way up there, but anyway. Back on. We need to lay, boy. Okay. I must have this tank off. Yeah, I did. I can see the cuss cables from the gas tank. And it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Let's see if we can get the swing arm ball through. That should be the most difficult. You gotta line up a couple, a couple things. Get this, the big bolt slide through. Got to slide through here. Get the brace, the motor mount. Couple, couple, couple items. Oh, the shock mount. Hmm, let me sit down the hardware here. See what I can figure out. Didn't. That was it. Get a flat washer back on. Check the stash over here and see if I can find another light washer. Hang on. All right, here we go. There's an old washer. There's a replacement. This has got a lock nut on it, but I think we're going to put a little lock nut on it anyway because uh, you're probably not supposed to keep reusing this nut. The nylon is wearing out. I'll put a little 262 on here. Locking washer. Lock tight on the nut. I think I can put some side pins in there too, but I don't know. It wasn't one I wanted to put apart. Uh, I'll get the bolt all the way in. Yeah, general form of persuasion. Wasn't close. Give it an impact here. Take this off. Remember where I put the socket. Grab my ratchet, hold the other side. There are a couple of good dodges. That's a bolt 
you do not want coming out. All right, let's see if we can get more mounts here. The same thing like a like a nylon locking washers too, but uh, clean off the bolt a little bit clean here. I don't trust them. Well, make sure there's no grease on. Again, bolt chain won't fall out. Not my mounts. This bottom bolt does not feel like it's in. Nope. I don't give a screwdriver a punch and line it up. It's real difficult being on climbing around one side and the bolt on the other. Turn it almost all the way in. Here's my garbage over here. Uh, I wonder what size those are. I wonder what size is on there already. I got it. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's because that was the. That was the one for the big bolt. In fact, I got the wrong adapter and everything. Let's try this one. We told it on the ground just to make sure there's no dirt in it. Probably off camera, but it hit the ground. Wrong one still. 12 millimeter. It was 12 on both sides. I got a bit of a wrench. Check it before I put it on. Twelve. Twelve. 
I don't need a wrench. All right, guys, 12. Just torque down. I'll find out torque, but I can come back and check all these later. I didn't think this uh, old craftsman could break stuff. I was wrong. It most definitely can break bolts off. So I just gotta be careful with it. And then we got here tens. Tens on one side, 12 on the other. Looks like it. I can't remember what I was working on the other day. Anyway, oh, four wheeler. I take the. Trying to just take the running boards off, and uh, I had the yeah the impact on there to try to unscrew the bolt. It snapped it off like it wasn't even there. Uh, I don't know how. Seems awful small, but but it did. <laughs> Lesson learned. Side hung here. Two, three. One, two, three. Same thing. I'm gonna grab the Loctite. Sure, blow off these. Sure, off the chain and get the chain back on, but we go later. Then you look at the engine bolted up here. Bolts from the engine get spark plug back in the hole here, so we don't get dirt down. We got all the water points blocked off with the plastic bags and zip ties. What's next? The next to get the seat off, and so I can get the clutch hook back up. Uh, get some throttle. Got some wires. Nothing. Nothing major. I think I put ties back on stuff where it came from, I think. Don't quote me on that. Ugh, pick up this stuff before I trip over it. <coughs> it's coming. Let's see. 5 16ths? 8 millimeter? 8 millimeter. See it all. Removed. Get 
think I think this is unstrapped and picks up. I'm having a problem with the cable on the other side. It's in the wrong spot. It's stuck underneath the tank and it comes way out to the side here. I just stuck it there so it wouldn't uh, be in my way. Yeah, it's a clutch, clutch cable. It goes uh, underneath the uh, one pump forward and then hooks to the side here. So that goes there. My harness there. Getting closer. What else we got left here? I think that's why I left these uh, wire ties really loose so I can get the wiring harness off through them. You know what? Let me take this tank off and get it out of the way. Oh, one bolt in the front. Well, I'll be done. Get that off. Get this out of the way. It's empty anyway, because uh, you gotta run 16 to 1 for breaking. Found the hoses I was looking for the other day. I was looking. My uncle gave me a whole bunch of fuel lines. He's moving. Whoops. My uncle's moving, so he gave me a whole bunch of. Fuel lines and stuff, I couldn't remember where I put them. I just found them <laughs> in the storage bucket. I don't know why this tie is to a hole. It's kind of weird. Unless this wiring harness goes through here, goes through here, and then one plugs here. And go here, and then the CDI. market ties and put a put a uh, pink marker or something on there. <laughs> That's yeah. Doesn't hurt. That should be okay underneath the tank. Ground wire off here for some reason. I'm lucky something that bolts to the side. I don't know. I probably just took it out because take the wiring harness out. Should I get that back on? Let's help over here on the coil side. If I don't do it, I'm gonna forget. You're gonna have to take it back out and uh, not put it on. Put it on. Oh, wires look good. I cut some ties here eventually. Maybe if I turn to the outside. You know, in case I put the tank back on, I. I won't mess them. That's what I got left here. Trying yeah, to not make this video too long. <sighs> well, the carburetor. This thing's been apart for so long, I got to remember where I put the stuff. All right, let me pause you. I got the carburetor around here somewhere. It's up safe, so hang on. Found it. <laughs> well, hang on. Let me grab my paper towel. Wipe my hand off here. <laughs> Flip around and show you. Found it. Told you I made sure it was safe. There's the muffler expansion chamber. There's the muffler. There's the carburetor. 
Uh, tank is right there on this side of the garage. There's a radiator, some fairings. I thought there was two radiators, but if there's two, they're here somewhere. Uh, the boot for the airbox. Yeah, let me try to put everything up. Not want to lose anything. All right, let's get that car ready. She's, uh, she's been totally empty the whole time, so should be okay. JMC screwdriver. And what if I put it back in the right car? Japanese, uh, the screws, the pitches are just a little bit different. This guy, Christina Steele's life. Screw my mouth. I know. Shouldn't do that. Some people might disagree with you. They actually keep it in my mouth, but <laughs> we won't mention who they are. These screws are uh, exactly the right length. None of this pair. I think I can turn these up from the top. I'm sorry. I'm starting to think this golf cable wasn't hooked in with this line. Uh, yeah. Alright, look after most of the ties. I think we're just gonna have to be white. I don't think that's all okay. it's supposed to be in there. Oh. Put the tie around it before it gets a wire tie. Well, I can be sure. Before it gets all okay about the. I can cut them off twice. This guy got like the whites. Now let's cut the one I just put on off. The two that were there off. Take this right here for a minute. Get this crawl back in. Or the carburetor, I should say. Maybe I should have put some front cable on afterwards. Right. Lessons, lessons, lessons. If you're not sure there's a bar in there, if it goes over the bar or under the bar. Back out here, so I'll lose them or slide back out to hang there for a minute. 
I'll put the screws over here before I drop them. It's so small, I'll drop them and I can only move here and hit the ground. Maybe I tighten the hose to my toilet wouldn't fall off the engine when we went to the shop. Yeah. That would make sense. Alright, she's back on. Lined up. Wind pulling at 80 miles an hour again. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use the impact on. I'll grab this. Here's your 5 16ths, 8 millimeter. Yep. This. If I grab an extension. Actually, let's put this here. Let me grab the right tool. A handheld. The right tool. Up, you can, I've seen people uh, squeeze it tight enough to crack the aluminum. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Cover your slide back in. Yeah, that doesn't even look right. Seems like it's in a bind. Yeah, it's got to be right. All right, we're going to bring it back in. Let me see. Well, I put the cover on twice. Or the towel. All right, towel cable reinstalled. Make sure the slide works. All the way up. All the way down. We're good there. Get tied back on our wires here. Long ways. See where the tie was. That's it. I bet we're gonna leave that other side. Yeah, it doesn't look right. That one. Looks like only the main wiring harness that goes down to this down the stator was uh, tied in here. That's what it looks like. Zip tie gun. Don't have one, get one. <laughs> yeah. That's here. In here. Check on the hole on the cable. Nope. Stop to stop doesn't 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 pull on it at all. Alright, now what? That's good, that's good. I think I can get my tank back on. Uh I'm gonna go get this air. I'm gonna go play with this uh this rubber boot. It goes between the Filter which uh, needs to be oiled and the uh, carburetor. This one is uh, kind of strange. I can't remember if I find both. This or not. One screw here. It's, uh, it wraps around the shock mount. Alright, you can't see much of this anyway, so we're gonna bring it back once you get it on. Hang on. Alright, we're back. The air filter tube just is in. What foam that was. You have to take three quarters of the. Of course, that's not actually bolt. Three quarters of the machine apart, that's the 
just to get it in there. <laughs> uh, trying to get my bolt back in there for my fenders. Inserts in. One insert. Get on the ground. Second insert's got a piece of plastic in it though. Just go past it. What are you gonna do with the impact? Impact, impact. Remember seeing the impact? <laughs> I see it. Hidden. It's hiding. because it's awful clean. Get in there. All right. What else can we do here? Let's get the tank back on. Let's see. Got muffler. Where's the let's get the radiator back on? This way, this way, this way. <laughs> Which way? I guess I should have dumped all the water out of it. The bolt, the bolt here. Can you feel that way? Supposed to be 90 miles away. <laughs> hmm. I don't even remember how this went on. Two out here, one over here. Looks like it should be this way. That's the weather. That bolts to there. The two holes way out here. <laughs> hmm. I don't remember. Here, I swear that was on this side, but next for that was this radiator because you got the outside pieces for the not the plastic stuff lined up to that thing. Bolt over here. A bolt. This is the shroud the bolt on. There's that hose. That hose is up there. All right. Swivel. I'm 
Mike, your piece of was over. Yeah, I swear there was another radiator, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's been a while since I took this apart. Forgive me. Congrats, it's so small that all the parts aren't in one spot. Definitely not there. I'm gonna glue to there. find the side fairings. Hang on a second, I'll bring you back when I find the sides. They're right here somewhere, it's just limited space, so I just got stashed everywhere. All right, we're back. Get the, get the plastics installed. Man, what a pain in the butt that was to figure out. Well, we have them not installed. Well, we have them on here, they just not tighten down. Anyway, we can get our muffler slid on here. And then, uh, Rome's done. Oops. Take the bolt out. Bottom. Guess I should have done that before. She's a little tight. I got a wrench here somewhere. Bombed up before she went on. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need a washer on this. Definitely bottom them now. At least I'm gonna put a bolt kit in this uh third pack before. Because everything's all nice and clean. See him now? <laughs> we bring you back. They can't go that far in this garage. All right, we get the. <laughs> we went from the from the rubber bushing that was behind. Got the muffler bolted on. Put 
with this night care run just so I can get it out of the way. I'm sorry, I'll try to edit some of it down. I don't know if I can, but uh, there isn't too many parts in there that uh, need to get cut out. But anyway, uh, she, she's almost done. I'm getting, getting, getting excited. It's been a long time waiting to get it back together. It's sitting, I think, for almost a year. Okay. Anyway, got any information on this or maybe just some entertainment? Please like, share, subscribe if you want. Please, uh, Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Check out pictures, parts, projects, funny videos, stuff on life. You know, Drift Girl. She just posted on both of them. If, you, if you're probably uh, subscribed to my channel, you've probably seen it on my Instagram. But anyway, you know, check out check out all the cool stuff. We gotta hopefully get this thing fired up next time and uh, do the next video. We'll just be a start up on it, and uh, we're out of here. Peace. Oh, and we got an event for this too. Just a short one with a one piece on there. Give it a big hose. Alright, we're out of here. Peace. <laughs>